Hello, Leo. Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Please hit the bell so that you'll be notified whenever I make a new video. I'm pulling from the Dreams of Sky deck here. Leo, your earth, air, fire, and water energy. So, so far we have coming out in our stability, the nine of earth. So this is very beautiful energy. This is, you know, a card of really truly having everything you need, being very comfortable. In our air, our community energy, we have destiny coming out. So I'm definitely excited to clarify that message. Um, but definitely, you know, that is that card coming out, Major Arcana. This is a sign that this is a powerful, powerful message. Now, Leo, I did ask Spirit to give us the deep messages this week for the Pisces full moon and I've worked hard to get these readings out in time so we are going to dig in here um, definitely keep in mind this is a general reading feel free to check out your other placements I do all 12 zodiac signs so you can check out any of your other placements as well all right, Spirit clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles for Leo. All right, beautiful, beautiful. So we have the Ace of Wands coming out here. So Leo, I'm seeing that there is a new opportunity or a new beginning here coming up in your stability. So this could be a new project, a new offer of some sort, something that you're passionate about. Yes. Yeah, I feel like this does affect your stability. It may be an offer. It may be um, with the page coming through, this may be an offer. Um, You know, maybe a little bit, I feel like this might be a little less than what you wanted, but it's a good opportunity. You know, the Page of Pentacles is really committing to a course of study, so maybe you're, you're you know, taking an entry-level position, um, but, you know, it, this is something solid and good. This is something you can move up, you know, or, or this is... This is really just the beginning of something, something really solid and tangible. So definitely very good positive energy here in our stability for Leo. In our air, our community. So I am seeing underneath this destiny coming out the wheel of fortune. So definitely just reiterating here that this is really putting you on the path that you're supposed to be on leo this is really beautiful this may have come through a friend here this may have been this may be somebody helping you out financially or you you making gains by being a generous person you know i feel like you i feel like people know that you're a generous person person you you know I'm feeling like this is really stable solid gains from your hard work your interpersonal relationships the work that you've done it's really beautiful energy Leo so I do see here we have the seven of water coming out in our passions our air energy so I do feel like this may be a little bit overwhelming for you, this next step, step that you're taking. We're not really 100% sure what's going to happen, but we are, we are a dreamer here. We are allowing things to flow and happen naturally, and we will be moving on from a situation here with the Six of Swords coming out. 
um, that being reiterated with the death card, um, which again, just to always say the death card, I love the death card. I think the death card is one of the most fabulous cards in the tarot deck because with death comes rebirth. And I do feel like this is a time where you are letting anything that's held you back in the past, you're letting it melt away. You are in the flow. And I feel like we are, you know, the seven doesn't come without challenge. Um, you know, we may be, we may be a bit struggling to put our strategy into place to really, to really envision what we want. But that's, that's what spirit is tasking you with um, this week, Leo. Take some time. Um, go within. Really think about your dreams. What are your dreams? Okay, so we do have in your emotions coming out body and mind. So this card is a card of alignment. And I am seeing here, Leo, there is a need to sort of rest here. Okay, we have a four and an eight coming out to clarify this 11. So um, I, really, I really like this energy, Leo, in our emotions. I feel like we are really taking some time to rest here and that's necessary before we take this next journey here because i do feel like we are we are evolving a bit here with this eight of cups there is an evolution taking place here but we really we're really going to want to go within. We're really going to want to make sure we're treating our body right because how we treat our body controls the way our thoughts show up. And we want to control the way we're thinking because if you're thinking shitty things, then it's going to show up in your body like they are connected. So this is a card for you to really sit and take notice of that. So maybe we are, you know, just, just really... Emerge yourself in self-care, Leo. Do that as much as possible because I do feel like there's going to be a lot of movement happening. And, you know, the important thing is for you to be grounded. Okay, so Leo, I ask that you stick around here. I am going to do something a little different that I don't normally do, which is read from the book here. But I have just found that these messages are so, so profound. And so I would love to share this with you under our Pisces full moon. We have a 12, so this is a three. Every journey starts with a single step. All right, let's read that. You are on a journey. Yes, it is an internal journey. But there is also a physical expression of this journey that is going to become increasingly important to the fulfillment of your destiny in this lifetime. Your journey has started on the inside, but its destination will be the physical expression of an internal healing. This journey will draw upon what you have learned and mastered over the course of your life, so much so that you may feel as though your life experiences have prepared you just for this particular adventure. You have all that you need within you. This is not a time to worry about what you are going to take with you. From within your heart, you will sense what needs to come along for the ride and what is best left behind you now. You may be surprised at exactly how much can be left behind without you feeling concerned or anxious. You will be able to travel far lighter than you ever imagined possible. To be best equipped for this journey, you will need a lightness of heart and the realization that change can be an incredible blessing, even if what you are leaving behind is something you found secure, safe, familiar, or comforting. Just as the butterfly leaves the chrysalis behind when it is time to spread its newly formed wings, 
so too are you ready to leave behind what once was and embrace what is more appropriate for you at this time. There is an element to the journey you are embarking on that is unknown. Perhaps it is news to you that you are even taking a journey. However, the realization that traveling along a familiar path brings no guarantees is more likely. This open, unscripted quality to your journey will help you gain most from your experiences. You see, this journey is a spiritual gift. It is an invitation from the great loving heart of the universe calling you into something that you would not have otherwise found. You are not su supposed to know all the details nor how it is going to work out before you set out. You are just meant to take one step after the other again and again so that you can receive the gifts that are headed your way. If you are considering taking a physical trip somewhere, this oracle comes as a confirmation that the journey will in some way be a life-changing one, and this is good. If the journey you are considering is of a more internal variety, such as exploring a new field of consciousness, beginning a new creative work, or traveling into the void of unknown possibilities in order to start your work, then this oracle is confirmation that it is indeed a wise choice and much new life will come of it. This oracle brings you particular guidance that the apparently small steps you are taking in an area of your life, important to you right now, are actually far more powerful and constructive than you realize. Sometimes we are gaining around we are gaining ground, but the effect is not immediately obvious. This doesn't mean that nothing is happening. It simply means that the effects of your actions are cumulative, and soon they will begin to overflow into the physical world with a positive impact that may surprise you. This oracle brings you the message to keep going. If you have been doing a lot of inner work and are frustrated or concerned that you are not seeing the results translate into the physical world, keep faith, as the physical manifestation of your inner work is coming. Remember that you have all the resources you need and then some. Your inner and outer journeys are blessed with positive energy and all you need to do is keep going one step at a time. Healing process. Say aloud, of my own free will, I now choose to surrender any fear or doubt about my ability to succeed. I believe in myself. I trust myself. I have faith in the unfolding journey of my life. both internally and out in the world. Even in the face of the unknown, I know that positive energy surrounds me and I am protected. Through unconditional love, I am supported and assisted to take each step. As need be, as needs be, so that my great creative life journey can be all that it can be. You may like to complete your healing process with a quick dance around the lounge room, feeling joy in your heart and lightness in your step. Just a suggestion. Okay, Leo, I am going to leave it there. If this reading resonated for you, please leave me a comment below. Like the video, it means so much to me. Um, in the description box below, you will find information about how to book a personal with me. Also my Instagram, make sure that you follow. I will have a photo of this spread, as well as I will be going live to answer any lingering questions that you may have. So definitely make sure to connect with me. Leo, I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.